good. That's not even that bad. It's the convenience. Uh, yeah, it's true. Talking about convenience, how about liking Animal Crossing music? Such a convenience when we're going to town in Smashville hope, all the I time. I hope Sakurai had some more tracks in the next game, dude. It, I can think of, like, a bunch that would be a, a boon to the Animal Crossing stages. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'll, honestly, that's what I'm waiting Every Tuesday, uh, the Smash Ultimate website updates with new music. Yeah, they just uploaded the Fire Emblem Heroes one, right? Yeah. That. It's a remix of I the liked menu. It. I liked it. It's good. It's weird, though. It is weird. I'm not yeah. going to lie. It's weird. Why would you give attention to a mobile game? I don't know. The, that mobile game has made more money in the past, like, three oh Fire Emblems. Oh, my God, dude. I, people are still don't shut up about it. Anyway, speaking of not shutting up, we're going to start talking about uh, this set right here. So you know Odyssey and Dill. And Odyssey and Dill sets kind of go... Uh, I'd say they go back and forth, but yeah. normally it's Dill's favor. Dill can, tends to clutch these out, and I feel like that's just because he's more comfortable with his flow. Adi's been taking it recently. Yeah, I've been I've been seeing Adi take it a lot more. I was just gonna say. Um, I can swear it'd have gone. In, uh, not in the past, maybe, but Adi, I feel like has been coming into himself a bit more, and it's been he's been really showing like a lot of mastery in these sets versus Dill. Um. But Dill looking in really good shape today. He's in winners finals, which is. Uh, I guess that makes sense. I'm when's the last time we've seen it. that? That's what I'm trying to remember. Probably not too long ago, but I haven't seen Dill take a Zeno. And it's been a minute. In a, in a minute. Yeah. For sure. So I think it'd be a pleasant change of pace. The uh, the torch of champions been passed around quite a lot yeah. this summer. Absolutely. I'm I'm digging it though. I wonder who's gonna be next, honestly. Who could be next? Although I feel like all the up and comers have kind of like. Up and came. Uh, yeah. yeah. I would face like that, my guy. <laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> Meanwhile, Odyssey is staying alive. Yeah, he, he's, again, been proving to be very evasive, and Dill has been kind of locked down. And when you're locked down, Adi kind of thrives. Yeah, when you and, uh, you and Devin mentioned how it's more recently been falling to Adi's uh, favor, I was thinking about it, but it definitely makes a lot more sense, especially yeah. considering the adaptations that Adi's made, at least over the past, like, latter half of the scenario, I would say. His flaws have never been like super glaring, but he's just been tightening up his gameplay a lot yeah. more. Like when you think of mistakes, ooh, I, I and Dill are laughing because that was the silliest trade I've seen in the minute. Yeah, that was a goofy one. That was goofy, dude. That was goof true for sure. But, but bringing it back to that topic, um, you're right. Adi, his mistakes aren't really that like he'll, he'll have any exceedingly glaring flaws or have any terrible habits. Ooh, that looks Sometimes clean. he's just clean. Also, I'd like to note that the barrels pop the balloon. Yeah, I heard the little sound so effect. So if Dill can take solace in anything, it's that he did that. <laughs> Adi. Adi looked like he's on his way to his second Xeno win pretty quickly after the That would be pretty nice. I think it's... Considering that last year was the year of Adi getting close oh and not God, making it. Dude. I can make a montage out of it for sure. It oh. just has uh, sad music. That's, that's definitely sad voice. That's that one song from uh, Final Fantasy X that is in like every MLG compilation ever. You know Adi getting snub compilation feels bad. Definitely don't want to see that. Definitely <laughs> trying to see Adi moving on ahead. He's up a game here on Dill. See if he can take it the whole way. A Xeno win gives you confidence, too. Once you've won one, you're like, I can win all. And that, that's what Adi's playing like today. That's He's the mindset that all players should try to take. Yeah, if they're going to be watching the stream, look at the idea that if you could take a stock off of some of these players. You can take a game. And if you could take a game, you could take a set. If you could take that one set, you can take the whole damn tournament. Yeah, that's true. I, I, I completely agree with that. No, it might sound like sweet nothings, but it, it is true. Like, every every player comes from humble beginnings, so, you know, if today's not your day. Like, I was talking to Riggs earlier. He was like, man, I went 0 I'm, I'm going to Shine this weekend. I was like, dude, don't even worry about it. Every player goes 0-2 at Xeno at one point or another. Literally every player. Going 0-2 at Xeno is like the same thing going 3-2 and at a random local yeah, exactly. outside of the Tri-State area. People got to remember, Tri-State is nice. It's lethal, dude. It's... Top to bottom, we train the best. Yeah, seriously. I uh, we've I feel like not not to not to gas ourselves up too hard, but we do we do it kind of nah, nice we're, out here. We're, we're pressing the air. That's pump. true, actually. That's a New York way to gas yourselves up so hard, and also tell yourselves that you, you ain't you ain't you ain't yeah. ish. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So that's, it's that's the duality of F and Y, L and Y. Pick up F and Y pins at Shine. <laughs> Why are you like that? Support, support Steelers. So, <laughs> support actually support everyone. Steelers. Please support Steelers. Yeah, seriously. Shouts to Steelix, by the way, for getting PR to go get recently. Good stuff to him. Hey, anyway, word. get him back in. So bringing ourselves back to that New York action, yes. we're so proud of it. It's going to be another Fox Off Smash. That 
keep on segueing into these. It's the good part, though. When, once you get back into the set, a stock has already ended, and you can continue it. So convenient. Woof! Odyssey, though, dropping that stock right there now. Odyssey actually at one stock away from landing himself into a spot, uh, landing himself into to Grants. It's gonna be a bit harder to do, though. Yeah, sure. The, the reason I came into this set thinking that it's been sitting Dill's favor as of late was just because I feel like when I do see Dill win in this particular matchup, it's always because it's a very close set where Odyssey's playing very well and then Dill just clutches it out. We don't normally talk about it, but Dill is a very consistent player. But when he does peak, his play is truly astonishing yeah. to behold. That being said, though, Adi, when, if you want to talk about peaks, when, when he, my man is hot and he's got his opponent in heavy disadvantage state, there is almost nothing that can stop him. How about an up smash? I mean, that won't, I mean, I'll stop him, but it won't stop his bracket run as he lands no. himself a spot in grand finals through winner's side. My man has had the run today. Jesus. He's making it look good. He's entering grand finals from winner's side. And Dill's got his shot at redemption, but he's going to have to fight either Sinji or Utopian Ray.